What's up, guys, and welcome <laughs> to 21 Days of Prayer, Day 9. Um, jumping on to uh, upload this video here for our website and for Facebook. We were on around 7 this morning on Instagram, but a uh, little, little bit of trouble this morning. The trouble was me. I blanked out when I woke up on what I was supposed to do today, and I just went to the gym instead of getting ready for prayer, and that is what happened. I'm a very routine person. My normal Monday routine is get up, go to the gym, have breakfast, go to the office and spend time in prayer and scripture study, and that's how I usually start my Mondays, and I just snapped right into my routine, so... That's why we're uploading this a little bit late, but I do want to share with you and kind of point you in a direction today, and I'll follow up on uh, this idea later on this week. But today I want to talk about prayers of intercession and prayers of intercession. And what that means is praying for people, really just bring bringing the requests to God of others. I think that the healthiest rhythm of prayer we can be in for our perspective and for the way we see the world is to open up our prayers and worship. You know, I think that's so important because it puts our perspective on God first. You know, it reminds us of who he is. I think, I think you're the way that you pray is better when you remember who you're praying to. This isn't just a ritual. You're not just talking to somebody who exists on earth and in the, limitations of what we understand this is the creator of all things it's our father in heaven it's god and so when we pray um and we open it up in worship we can we can remind ourselves of that god you are so majestic you created all that there is you are truly amazing and bigger than all things and i just God, I thank you for how good you are. You're so good, and you've been so good to me. And you know, we just open and worship. It puts our perspective there. And then I think the second place you go is to intercede for others. Intercede for others before you get into prayers over what you your needs are and your dreams are, and for yourself, we put others there. And that's a good reminder for our perspective that uh, we're called to live in such a way that we think about other people. We think about others over ourselves, even the Bible says, you know, it says consider others over yourselves in Philippians. And so I think prayers of intercession give us that perspective. I think when we spend time every day praying for other people, it reminds us to see the world bigger than just ourselves. I think I, I have a tendency to go through my day, to go through my life just on the track that I'm on thinking about what I need to do and what I'm feeling and what I'm going through. And when we spend time in the morning uh, or in our prayer time daily, lifting up the needs of others, we're reminded of two things. One, that, that it's not just about me. And two, that I'm not in it alone. I'm not by myself in this. If we want to be a community, a church that is fixated on going through life together, then that means more than just being in services together at church or or hanging out with one another on the weekends. It also means caring for one another spiritually. And one of the best ways you can do that is through prayer. And so uh, I want to share Mark chapter 2 with you real quick. Mark chapter 2 says this. Um, when he returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. And many were gathered together, so there was no more room, not even at the door. And Jesus, this is Jesus, Jesus was preaching the word to them, and they came, bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. When they could not get near to him, get near to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they made an opening, they let the bed, let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, son, your sins are forgiven. After people kind of get in an argument about whether or not Jesus could forgive sins, and that's another conversation for another day. Jesus looks at the paralytic in verse 11 and says, I say to you, rise, pick up your bed and go home. And he rose and immediately picked up his bed and went out before them all. So they were all amazed and glorified God saying, we've never seen anything like this. Here's the deal. Here's what I notice in this story. 
this man who was paralyzed, he had these four men doing something for him that he couldn't do for himself, interceding on his behalf, stepping in the way where his needs were. But those men could not heal him. Those men could not make him walk. All they could do was bring the needs of this man to the one who could meet them. That's what you do when you intercede for someone in prayer. You're one of the four carrying that mat. You're one of the people bringing this need to the only person who can meet it. Be like the guys in this story. Lift up your friends, your family members, your children, your spouse in prayer. I pray for my neighbors, my coworkers, all, all of it. I pray for, I've got a, a, a working list on a, my phone and on a spiral notebook in my office of people that I'm praying for. And I spend time every single day lifting some of you up in prayer. And it not only gives me the right perspective, but it brings your needs, their needs to the only one who can meet them. So I hope that you'll spend some time praying for others this morning. I'll pray and I'll see you here again. We'll be back at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for who you are, God. You are so good. And I just lift up the needs of others, God. I pray for my friend Larry today, who's in the hospital struggling with this coronavirus and now so many other infections. God, I pray that you would clear him of infection, uh, that you would make his body whole again, that he would begin to heal, Father, that you would open up his lungs to breathe, God. I pray for his children for understanding and peace. And I pray for his wife for strength and your peace that surpasses all understanding. I love you. And I thank you so much for who you are. And I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a great day.